we're back at the Alum House Garage working on this frame preparation. Previously, we started working on installing the Code 504 kit, which allows the 1954 Chevy body to seat on top of this 1986 S10 chassis. I hired some strong helpers, my strongest boys, for a few minutes until they wanted a snack. My four-year-old decides he can take care of the move all by himself and just starts pulling. After a few pushes and pulls, we get the frame turned around and nestled back in place. Alright guys, taking a quick uh, work, work session on the green monster here on the frame for the 54 swap. Uh, we've got to cut these back sections here and then we got to paint uh, these cross members here and this cross member here and the frame. But today, Spending my 10 minutes cutting the frame and uh, getting a little bit of rust prevention on there. And so here we go. Living in the city is great, but the space constraints always pose a challenge. Uh, my 10 minutes of work typically include an extra 10 minutes of clearing space and moving tools. Once the rear cross member is removed, it's prepped for a shot of the same Rust-Oleum flat black we used on the front end. While that dries, we turn our attention to the frame to make some measurements and start cutting. First side comes off and it's time for the second side. Alright, 
so here's the frame both sides cut off obviously it's jagged so we're gonna put the uh, grinding disc on come back across and grind these guys out uh, this is bent down just a touch here so we'll raise that back up with a monkey wrench we'll get it back in place but good cuts good clean cuts and uh, this this will allow I cut it just inside about an eighth inch inside of the furthest spot back for that cross member and that will allow, allow me to adjust according to the to the bed once we mock that up later on and if I need to trim more off I can I can trim it off just can't add it back on so all right here we go After a brief chat with a neighbor about the project, I get back to grinding because there's still more work to be done. So I found a rust converter that I can spray on as a first coat it goes on clear, dries as a black primer, and then I can shoot my Rust-Oleum over it to seal it all up. Well, that's it for today. Check out the next video where we start to work on this full airbag suspension that'll sit between the chassis and the wheels.